Welcome to another video ladies and gentlemen. I'm absolutely ecstatic because as you guys can see we have the one out of three hypercar trinity La Ferrari right next to me. Such a special car. run through some quick facts about this car. So the heart of this thing is a 6.3 liter naturally aspirated V12, which when it came out was the most powerful naturally aspirated Ferrari V12 ever on a production car. To go to that point, that naturally aspirated V12 makes about 800 horsepower alone. And then when we add the hybrid assist, the electric battery alone produces 150 horsepower. So in total, we're sitting around 950 horsepower. And again, it was the most powerful road car Ferrari ever produced. So it's got two coins to it. Most powerful naturally aspirated V12 ever when it was produced by Ferrari and the most powerful road car ever. Some other unique facts will go to the back of the car as we talk about this stuff. I think this is the most beautiful hypercar out of the hypercar trilogy. I think it does the best job of combining form and function, right? I mean, a lot of the other cars like the McLaren P1, they're really aggressive, focusing totally on the function of the car. This one, you can see the form, it's got elegance to it. Some other really interesting features, we got active aerodynamics on this car. There's active aero on the front, there's active aero on this rear wing that actually pops up, and there's active aerodynamics on this rear diffuser right here. And fun fact, there's 21 computers that are running these active aerodynamics to increase the performance, increase the downforce, reduce drag on the straights. It's absolutely fascinating. It was state-of-the-art technology when it came out. Additionally, the LaFerrari was also the first Ferrari ever to have adjustability on the digital dashboard. Down here is where you are able to adjust the dashboard to four different mode settings. So that's another really, really neat feature. This is also the lightest out of the hypercar trilogy coming in at 1255 kilograms it uses four different types of carbon fiber to reduce that weight which is again fascinating it's built on a carbon fiber monocoque and as we come to the interior as well some really unique stuff is as we can see these seats are actually mounted to the carbon fiber chassis you can see right here there's no space between this carbon fiber here or the ground and what that allowed for was number one, reduce the weight of electronics for adjustability on a seat. Secondly, it allows you to have the seat be fitted lower in, in the car, which then allows you to drop the roof a little bit, and that allows you to drop the center of gravity of the car, and then you have better dynamics. So it's just fascinating stuff there. I mean, and the interior, this car is 11 years old, and it doesn't look the part at all. Absolutely unfreaking believable. What a machine. Now, it's time to go out and see how this thing performs on track. Let's go. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are in the LaFerrari with Mr. Forey. Super excited to be out here to unleash the 950 horsepower of this hybrid beast. The one that started it all. The one of three that started the Hypercar Trilogy. <laughs> Unbelievable experience. Already I can feel how lightweight Good. and tight this cabin is. All right, so we're going to do one out lap. All right. Going to get the tires up to temperature, and then we're going to go. Awesome. Oh, man. Holy crap. Actually uses some of the most innovative 
aerodynamics. When it came out, it actually uses air active aerodynamics on the front, on the rear wing and the rear diffuser. And 21 different computers are monitoring all the senses outside to give this thing the most performance possible. AKA increased downforce, reduced drag on the straights. Wow. surprising things for me is unleashing 950 horsepower through the rear wheels it would seem like this car would be a widow maker but the traction we're getting out of these corners is unbelievable and that electric assist just kicks you out of those corners oh it's bloody sensational to the main straight. interesting about a week ago I was just here in a 765 LT and that exact quarter we just took how does that compare? Sorry? How does that compare? And this was going faster through that uh that slight right hander the one before the hard 75 degree turn there the slight right hander the 765 was going about 100 and this one I just checked was going 115 around that towards the end so definitely better aerodynamics on this thing and it, it's it's hooking up a lot more as well I would say it just feels more tighter and nimble more put together more smooth yeah how experienced with the driver uh, he had been out there a couple of times he has a son on a couple other cars so he's definitely goes to Kona every once in a while but so I drive I race Ferrari yeah so the difference is the driver right yep and I was actually going to ask about that because I saw you recently picked up a 488 challenge car yeah how different is that to this completely different This has been such an awesome experience. The downshifts sound amazing. I mean, this car has got a sort, certain elegance to it that not many other cars have. The front end grip seems really good on this car. Yeah, yeah. yeah.
goodness. That was some of the best driving I've experienced at Kona. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. Wow. What would you say your favorite part of the LaFerrari is? Uh, my favorite part of the LaFerrari. It's a thousand horsepower, rear wheel driven animal that I can still do a date night with my wife in. <laughs> it's unbelievable. There you go. There you go. That was 10 years old. Yeah. Yeah, that too. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, and the doors go up. struggling there there we go all right signing off on the couple of laps we just did that was absolutely mind-blowing the performance of this car for being 10 years old it's just so well put together that it, the dynamics are sensational and we'll talk more about it as I get out the car uh, but wow what an experience thank you so much to the gentleman's garage and Lewis go check out their page I mean this was an amazing experience. Sure. Additionally, shout out to my boy Michael right here. He's the founder of Dream Rides Entrepreneurship. This video wouldn't have been possible without his track day. He hosts awesome events where underprivileged students are able to experience and be inspired by supercars and supercar owners like Mr. Flory. All right, guys, so I'm here with Lewis, hey. the owner, awesome owner of the La Ferrari here. I want to talk to him a little bit about the ownership experience of the car and what yeah. his favorite aspects of it. So you said you picked it up four months ago. Yeah, yeah, we've had the car for about four months now. Uh, we've put, well, before we got here today, I think about 1,300 miles on the car, which is a lot considering it's a 2014. I bought it four months ago. It had 1,870 miles on it in 10 years, and we put wow. about 1,300 on it, not including uh, lap miles, so we'll have to see how we did. But we, uh, yeah, we took it pretty hard out there. Go ahead. Yep. And to his point, we're driving the socks off the car because yeah. we just drew, drove the brakes off the freaking thing. So. Yeah, literally there's no brakes. We literally took the car to its limit here at Circuit of the Americas, uh, and we pulled in pit lane, and the brake pedal's going all the way down the floor. We literally roasted them. Um, so hopefully that repair is somewhere under 100 grand. But we'll, we'll see. You know, that's, uh, if you're going to own hypercars, that's part of the game, right? Yeah. And, and that's a true owner right there, driving a masterpiece like this. You know, he mentioned 10 years of ownership, only about 1,000 miles, and he's already put 1,000 miles on yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. That, that absolutely. deserves a handshake For right sure. there. Hey, listen, it was a hell of a ride. He was a great passenger, by the way. Uh, of all the people I've taken on track, and I've taken people for little joy rides in a Ferrari Challenge car, many other cars I've taken on track, I've never had anybody actually blog and talk and, and, and keep their senses while we're, we were doing 170 some odd miles an hour on the yeah. back straight. I mean, we were clearly braking deep and hard enough to literally roast the brakes. Yep. Uh, best passion I've ever had in any car on a racetrack. So that was awesome. Man definitely knows what he's doing. <laughs> Thank you so much. My Thank pleasure, so man. Much. My Lewis. pleasure. Go follow the gentleman's garage. He's got an amazing collection. His 296 is literally right there, yep, actually. Right there. Another gorgeous car. We got our camera um, up, and we're going to get that one out next. Yeah. So go follow them. What a guy. Awesome. Thank you so much. My man. See ya. All right, guys. What a day it was taking out the LaFerrari at the Circuit of Americas. Lewis from the Gentleman's Garage absolutely drove the socks off the LaFerrari. And the brakes have had an issue. So that car is gone. We're just in front of his 296 GTS now, which is another gorgeous freaking car. But without further ado, what a day it was. Please browse the channel, subscribe, watch all my previous videos, and I'll see you guys with even better car content next time.